Lesson 16.3b, Finding the Interquartile Range. A measure of spread is a single number that describes the spread of a data set. One measure of spread is the interquartile range, IQR. The IQR is the difference of the upper quartile and the lower quartile. So as we learned in the last video, 16.3a, here's the lower quartile, and here's the upper quartile, and the IQR is the difference between these two. So if this is 8.5 and, and this is 5.5, the IQR is 3. Quartiles are three values that divide a data set into fourths. The lower quartile, that's the median of the lower half of the data. We have the median, that's the middle number or mean of two middle numbers, and the upper quartile, that's the median of the upper half of the data. So we can see it's split into one, two, three, four parts. That's the fourths. And the quartiles are the three values, the lower quartile, the median, and the upper quartile. We learned in video 16.3a, and that's linked in the description if you missed it, we learned how to identify the lower quartile as the median of the lower half of the data. We order the data from least to greatest and find the median of the entire data set. We use that median to identify the lower and upper halves of the entire set. We identify the median of the lower half, that's the lower quartile. The median of the upper half would be the upper quartile, so we do the same to identify the upper quartile. We need the lower and upper quartile data to find the IQR, the interquartile range, because the IQR is the difference between the lower and upper quartiles. So here's our data set. We have a 6, 6, 3, 4, 3, 9, 10, 5, 5, and 3. We put them in order from least to greatest, and we find the median, and if you look, we have one, two, three, four numbers on the left side, and we have one, two, three, four numbers on the right side. So these two numbers would help us find the median. We find the average of these two numbers, and five plus five is 10, and there's two numbers, so we divide that by two, we get a five. So we know the median is five, this is the lower half, this is the upper half. We find the median of the lower half as the lower quartile, and we have a 3 and a 3 in the middle. And 3 plus 3 is 6. We divide that by the two numbers we added together. We get a 3 for our lower quartile. We have a 5 for our median, and the upper quartile, we have two numbers, a 6 and a 9. You add them together, we get 15. We added two numbers, so we're going to divide it by two. That gives us a 7.5 for our upper quartile. And the difference between this upper quartile and this lower quartile is the IQR. We have a 7.5 and a 3. 7.5 minus 3 is 4.5. Now, for this data set, the lowest value is the lower quartile. So we only have one whisker. See that? It's telling us to find the interquartile range for each data set, that means each box plot. We're not given any numbers, we're just given the box plots. And we look at A, and we know this dark pink is the lower quartile, that's a 14. And this light green is the upper quartile, that's an 18. To find the IQR, we subtract. We do 18 minus 14, that's 4. So the IQR for A is a 4. For B, it's, if that's 14, that's 15, so that is 15 and a half for the lower, and if that's 18, that must be 19, because that's 20, so that's 19. So we do 19 minus 15.5, that's a 3.5, the IQR for B is 3.5. Now, when you're given some data values in a data set, and you need to put them in order and make your number line, or, even if it's like this, filling in all of the numbers on a number line may help us order and organize given data values. So that might help you. So for your notes, 
the interquartile range, the IQR, is the difference in the third upper and the first, that's the lower, quartiles in a data set. And if the IQR of a data set is very small, the box is really short, we know the data values of the middle half of the data set are clustered close together. And if the IQR of the data set is very large, so we have a long box, we know the data values of the middle half of the data set are spread far apart. Now it kept saying the middle half of the data set. And we learned before that there's fourths. If we connect the lower quartile to the upper quartile, we have our box plot, don't we? This is the middle half. This entire box is the middle half because we would have a fourth on this side and a fourth on this side, so that's the middle half. And since the IQR goes from the lower quartile to the upper quartile and we subtract, we would do 13 minus 7, that means the IQR here would be 6. If the box is really long and we have a very large IQR, we know that the data values in this middle half are spread far apart from each other. And if the box is very short and our IQR is small, because maybe the box just goes from here to here, we know that the data is clustered. So when you hear middle half, you know that that's inside the box, okay? It goes from the lower quartile to the upper quartile as the middle half. We're finished with the second part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the last part, finding the range. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I hope you join me for the last part of this lesson. Bye.